Tarzan of the Apes, brought to you from out the pages of Edgar Rice Burroughs' immortal book. John! John! You can't leave us here! It's murder! No! And why not? Why, I, it's monstrous! It ain't outrageous! It's... Ah! Oh, I can't leave you there, eh? You're trying to tell me that the young lady spoke the truth. When she said that she threw the bottle overboard. It is the truth. I swear it. Yeah. And if that's the truth, what are all of such a freak for? <laughs> By the time Gates gets back with the plan, well, there won't be any waiting tongues left. If ever I get out of here, young, I'll, I'll kill you. Get out. <laughs> Back chance of that. This door is barred on this side. In 30 minutes. Oh, maybe a minute or two more. The water will be up to the deck, please. Get out. <laughs> That's a good one. Oh, this is terrible. The water is up to the pipe. I'm standing on now. No, no, no use wasting time and breath on these villains, Clayton. Uh, come on, come on. Let's get out of the water and climb out of this locker. At the rate this water is pouring in here, it won't take any half hour to, to drown us. No, no, Jane. You climb onto this higher pipe. Uh, see, I, I'll help you. Uh, there. And you, Professor, you'd better get on top of the gear. Uh, uh, yes, yes. But, but what are you going to do, Clean? I just can't stay still. I must do something. Uh, but there's nothing to be done, old man. The water's already five feet deep. And... I'm not going to sit here and drown. I won't. I'll think of something. Oh, my dear chap, what can we do? It's all up with us. Even if we could break the door open, they'd shoot us like dogs. Oh, oh look out, look out. I, I, I nearly lost my balance. By Jove. I say, quickly, Jane, that pipe above you. Is it warm, hot? Oh, yes, burning. Then there's steam in it. Now, if only there are tools in the lock. Uh, what do you mean, Clayton? Uh, what are you... I'm no engineer, but I've heard that if you turn cold water into a hot boiler, the boiler blows up. Well, I, I don't understand. See, here, this pipe... Well, if we can uncouple this pipe, the water will go down the pipe into the engine room. Uh, but by the time the water is that high, we'll be drowned. Oh, no. No, we won't. Quick, Daddy. You climb onto this, this bridge here. That's right. Hang on to that seam, flange, or whatever it is. And, and look here. If it's a choice between being blown up and, and being drowned, I, I'd just as soon be drowned. Yes, but don't forget, Professor. If we get blown up, so do Yacht and his crew. Uh, I can't find much consolation in that. Not consolation, Professor, but threats. Make enough noise here and Yacht will come to see what's up. If he refuses to let us out, call our bluff, in other words. We'll blow the ship up. Oh, you'll have to hurry. I can't hold on much longer. The water so you do can't get into that locker now, Clayton. Why, man, it's, it's madness. Can't I, though? Watch. <laughs> now, now. <coughs> see if I got the right wrench. <coughs> yes, this is it. I, I can't move it. You hold the wrench, Jane. I'll go back for the hammer. Quickly, I, I'm afraid I, I can't hold on. Just one more minute, there's a girl. Either we win or... or I, 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 I'll help you, Clayton. I can hang on to that pipe. You, you can't. You couldn't keep your head high enough. It'll be over our heads in a minute. Ready? Now hold the wrench while I hit it. Making it fit, Clayton? Yes, Daddy. There are three of them out. Both, I mean. How many more? Just, just two more. And... Hey! What's going on in here? What are you doing all? Get your... Tell him if he doesn't open this door, we'll blow the ship up. Tarzan stops in his race through the treetops. Tracy draws a deep breath. Since the moment Tarzan had thrown him across his shoulders, the journey has been one long nightmare. Every moment he's expected to be his last, any second to find himself hurtling through space, down, down to the ground, a hundred feet below. Tarzan lowers Tracy from his shoulders, holds him until the captain's feet find a resting place. But Tracy needs no warning to hang on. Stretching himself, Tarzan grins, opens his mouth, and rubs an expressive hand across his stomach. <laughs> Tracy laughs. <laughs> yes, old man, I am hungry. And language or no language, that's one sign I understand. <laughs> Tarzan nods. He grips Tracy about the waist. With the speed of a falling stone, like some burnished bronze missile, he drops from limb to limb. The speed almost sickens Tracy. He closes his eyes. 
only to open them again when he feels Tarzan shaking him, finds himself on solid ground. With a word and a sign which Tracy takes to mean, stay here, Tarzan speeds into the undergrowth. He searches with keen eyes the moss-covered ground. His nostrils quiver. A sigh of satisfaction escapes him. The fine hairs on the nape of his neck stand up. He has seen the spool of Porta, the boar. Tarzan crouches, moves forward stealthily, his sun-bronzed body melting into the jungle growth. His feet fall on the tangled twigs and leaves with never a sound. There's a crackling of bush ahead. He brushes aside a giant fern leaf, looks into the clearing. There is his meal, Horta the boar. And Horta has seen the ape-man. With a snarl, the beast lowers his head. Its piggish eyes glint evilly. The curled, foaming lips draw back viciously from the pointed tusks. His cloven hoofs paw the ground. The tough hide tightens as he tenses for the charge. Tarzan grips his knife. His muscles quiver, stand out like knotted cords against the gleaming skin, waiting for Horta to make the first move. Horta charges. The gleaming fang, sharper by far than Sabor's, missed the ape man's leg by a fraction of an inch. Like a flash, Tarzan drops on Horta's back. The brute stops, leaps forward. Tarzan hangs on. The boar wheezes from one side to the other, digs its hoofs into the moss, lashes its tail. Then, a vicious swing of his head, tusks bared. One of them grazes Tarzan's leg. But it's the move that Tarzan's been waiting for. His arm raises and falls. He plunges his knife into the brute's neck. A scream of pain. Horta raises on his punches, throws himself on his back, rolls over. Upwards, down, sideways, Tarzan's knife flashes again and again. The gleaming steel sinks into the brute's neck, but Horta is not easily killed. Stretching, squirming, twisting, he throws Tarzan from his back. Like a flash, he turns on his tormentor. The maddened brute is on top of the ape-man. Tarzan thrusts both arms upward. Trying to keep those deadly cuts from his throat, he raises his knees, strains his back, pushes upward. The veins in his forehead are almost bursting. A superhuman effort as he forces Porter's head back. Slowly, a fraction of an inch, a little more, more yet. Porter strangles, gasps, closes his eyes, turns his head, turns and draws his right arm back, brings it forward with a blow like a sledgehammer, buries the knife in the brute's throat, and throws the carcass aside. Tarzan jumps to his feet, places his foot on Horta's neck, and from his powerful throat comes the victorious cry of the great ape. The jungle for miles around is quiet. Even Numa stirs uneasily at Tarzan's call. Suddenly, Tarzan hears a call the jungle has never heard before. Tarzan stops. The sound comes from the face he'd left Tracy. Leaping like a panther, he bounds across the clearing. Heedless of noise, he sweeps aside branch and vine that bar his path and bursts into the open. The crying is weaker. Tracy, searching for water, has wandered away from the spot where Tarzan left him. He's trapped in the quicksand. His arms rest like flails. His fingers clench and unclench, grasping, striking, clawing, clawing, reaching for... Nothing in an agony of despair. Tarzan just is going to be still. In his frenzy, Tracy pays no attention. The sand is up to his middle. He feels it sucking, pulling, drawing him down, down, down. Tarzan reaches the edge of the sand trap, throws himself on the ground. Stretching his arms to Tracy, his toes press themselves into the sand. Tracy gasps, reaching for the ape man's hands. Their hands touch. Tarzan eases himself forward. The soft, wealthy sand gives under his chest. He braces himself. His sinews crack under the pulling, tearing strain. His breath whistles through his feet. He pulls harder, harder. Tracy, his feet held fast by the treacherous sand, goes panicky, rise, twist. He struggles harder, sinks deeper, deeper into the quagmire. Tarzan's breath comes in death. Lungs are at the bursting point. His chest heaves with a strain. Tracy struggles, going closer, closer, deeper, deeper, further into the bottomless sand. 